Welcome to another session of analytical techniques or electrochemistry. Today we look into conductometric titration that is strong acid versus strong base. Before we move on, subscribe for more informative videos. Please drop in your comments and tap the like button if you like the video. We will see what is conductometric titration. Conductometric titration is a titration used to measure the amount of an analyte present in the given solution by measuring the change in the conductance as a function of volume of titrant. That is, the conductance is mainly due to the movement of ions. That is, the electricity is passed through the ions. Here, during the titration, we see that one ion is replaced by another ion of different ionic conductivity. So, throughout the titration, the conductance values keep changing and at the end of the titration we determine the equivalence point graphically after plotting a titration curve. Here we will take an example of strong acid versus strong base. HCl is taken as a strong acid and NaOH is taken as a strong base. That is HCl and NaOH both are strong electrolytes. That is they ionize immediately in solution. So we are representing HCl as H plus and Cl minus and NaOH as Na plus and OH minus. And HCl is the analyte solution. That is we are going to determine how much HCl is present. So NaOH is the titrant which is filled in the burette. We can do it the other way round also. If you want to determine NaOH. And as NaOH is added to HCl solution. We see that it forms NaCl which is also a strong electrolyte. So we are representing these as ions. And it forms water which is non-ionic and does not contribute for any conductance. Here out of these ions we see that H plus and OH minus ions are fast moving ions which has high ionic conductivity so it gives more conductance and Cl minus and Na plus ions which are slow moving ions which has low ionic conductivity and which contribute for less conductance. And we will see what is going to happen to the analyte solution during the titration. Before the titration starts, that is in the beaker, we have only HCl solution. So we have only HCl. Assume that we have taken some 20 ml of HCl solution of 0.1 molar, which is titrated against same molarity, that is 0.1 molarity of NaOH. In the beginning, when only HCl is present, it is present as H plus and Cl minus ions. We see that H plus ions have high ionic conductivity, so the conductance value is very high. And we plot the graph here. And as we add NaOH, because both have same molarity or same concentration, assume that 1 ml of NaOH is added to HCl solution. So, 1 ml of HCl reacts with 1 ml of NaOH to form NaCl that is 1 ml and water. Here, we should see that HCl has come down to, unreacted HCl has come down to 19 ml and we see that H plus ions which had high ionic conductivity is now replaced with the slow moving that is Na plus ions which has low ionic conductivity. So this is going to continue till the equivalence point that is as NaOH is continuously added we see that the H plus ions are replaced with Na plus ions and the conductance value continuously decreases up to the equivalence point or the neutralization point. This is what we are seeing. We have plotted the conductance value which decrease throughout up to the equivalence point. Now we will go to the equivalence point. That is at equivalence point or neutralization point, all the 20 ml of HCl has reacted with 20 ml of NaOH because the concentration is same. Now at equivalence point, we see that only NaCl is present as solution in water. So NaCl, both Na plus and Cl minus ions have low ionic conductivity. So this is the least conductance out of the, all the values in the titration. It shows the least conductance at equivalence point. Now we don't know that we have arrived at the end point. We are going to add NaOH further. So after all the HCl and it has reacted with NaOH, now we add another 1 ml of NaOH. Now we see that there is no HCl to react with NaOH. So we have 1 ml of NaOH which is 
accumulated in the analyte solution. So we have Na plus and OH minus ions and we see that OH minus ions have high ionic conductivity so the conductance value increases after the equivalence point. This happens as we keep adding NaOH and when we take the values we see that the conductance value increases after the equivalence point. Now we are going to plot the titration with volume of the NaOH against conductance. We see that the conductance value decreases as fast moving H plus ions are substituted with the slow moving Na plus ions. And after the equivalence point, we see that due to the addition of NaOH, due to the accumulation of OH minus ions which has high ionic conductivity, the conductance value increases. Now we draw using a scale we draw two lines we see that maximum number of points fall on the line and the intersection of the two lines at that point we drop in a perpendicular to the x-axis and this point we take the volume of NaOH in case we are doing the titration using an indicator this will be our concordant titer value now we have plenty of advantages with conductometric titration that is it is suitable for colored solution turbid solution dilute solution where the reactions are incomplete where ordinary conventional uh, titrations are not suitable with indicators and we can also use this for determining weak bases weak acid mixture of acids or even mixture of bases and special care need not be taken at the end point we all know that always uh, we say that we need to be very careful near the end point and we need to add drop wise during an ordinary titration which is not necessary in this case because we are going to determine the end point graphically and it does not require indicators it does have some disadvantages or limitations when high concentration of salts are present in the solution it does not give accurate results and presence of other electrolytes in case we are determining HCl in this case if we have other electrolytes which has ionic conductivity then that will also contribute for conductance we will not get accurate results and it is not very much suitable for redox titrations. This is not the end of applications. There are few applications I have listed out. Pollution in water can be determined, but that is if we have some minerals, it's going to contribute for conductance value and quantitative analysis of compounds, alkalinity in water, salinity in water, purity of distilled water and demineralized water. That is, if we have some minerals, it will show some conductance. Solubility of sparingly soluble salts. That is, we can say if uh, some amount of salt is uh, soluble it will show some conductance and if more is soluble more conductance is shown and deuterium ion concentration in water basicity of organic acids so this is not the end there are plenty of more applications and this is all for this session let us meet again in another session thank you bye bye